Hey everyone. So I have not done a kitchen video in a long time and it's mainly because somebody's always in the kitchen with me or I might have music on or I just want to cook and be done. So, um, or sometimes my kitchen's a mess and I don't want to film, just being honest. So I decided to turn the camera on today because I'm making these really easy and quick sliders. And let me turn you guys around. All right, guys, so I cut the audio on this because the exhaust fan above my stove was just way too loud. So this is just 80-20 ground beef. I'm just browning it. I have not seasoned it. I'm going to brown it first. I always brown my ground beef first, and then I drain it, and then I season it because I want my seasonings to stay in with my meat. So this is just about done, and I'm going to drain this, and then I'm going to season it, and I'll show you what I'm going to season it with after I get this drained. All right, so the meat has been drained. I'm just kind of wiping up as I go. I'm going to season it with some garlic, some onion, some black pepper, and some Himalayan, pink Himalayan salt. So this is my garlic pepper. I don't measure anything, guys. I just kind of eyeball it. And once I get it in there and, you know, cook it in, cook it in for a minute or two, I'll taste it. And then if I need more, I'll add more. So this is my onion. My pink Himalayan salt. And then my black pepper. And then what I'll do is, once I have added all of my seasonings, I will add a little bit of water in with that, and then I'll let it simmer and let that absorb all of those seasonings and um, and that liquid, and then I'll know that you know my meat is nice and flavorful. All right, so I'm just gonna give it a taste and see if I like it, if it's to my liking. I think it needs more seasoning. I'm gonna add some more garlic. And some more salt. I actually think I need something that I was missing that I usually put in my burgers is the um, steak seasoning. So I'm going to add that. And this is just your basic McCormick Montreal seasoning steak seasoning mix um, and I really like that in my burgers so um, this these are like cheeseburger sliders so I'm gonna put that in with my cheeseburger sliders because I always put that in my burgers okay so now that my meat is to my liking I've tasted it the seasoning is just right I'm gonna shut the pan off I have already turned my oven on and it's preheating for 350 at 350. I'm going to get my bread situated for my sliders. Okay, so I've got my bread here. These are just a 12 pack of Hawaiian rolls. Um, and what I'm gonna do is get a bread knife out. So the bread knife is the knife that's got the serrated edge that's gonna make it easier to slice your bread. Now this bread is super soft, so I'm gonna to try to do the best that I can without smashing it. But you wanna just go across the whole entire thing and get that top half cut from the bottom half and try to keep it as equal as possible. All right, so my top half, my bottom half, all set. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my cheese. See, I have preheated the oven at 350. I'm gonna get my pan to put my bread on. It's just a basic cookie sheet, that's all you need. So I'm gonna use the top half and I'm gonna put butter on the top, melted butter on the top, and the bottom half is gonna go on the cookie sheet, a sprayed greased cookie sheet. So here's my cookie sheet, just a plain regular cookie sheet. So you just wanna spray it 
uh, just a light coating on the bottom with some cooking spray just set your bottom half right on your cookie sheet and then we're going to cover this with cheese now we're gonna take our meat and we are gonna put it right on top of the cheese in a nice even layer all right so the next part is to cover it with more cheese all right so now we got this far the next step is to put the top on so we're gonna put the top on and we're gonna brush it with the butter the melted butter that we put in the microwave it's about two tablespoons and we probably won't use it all but I'm just gonna brush it across the top and it's mainly so that the bread doesn't burn when we put it in the oven all right so we're going in the oven at 350 for 15 minutes and then we'll pull them out and show you what they look like all right 15 minutes later this is what we look like here nice and golden brown and melted let's cut into these babies I'm just using my spatula and it goes right in really easily and I'm just gonna cut along the perforated you know spaces that they have in the bread there we go my lighting is not the greatest in my kitchen so let's turn it around so we can get a better look at it mm, not like that how about this way there you go so there's your look there that's a cheeseburger slider and it doesn't take a long time i think it's ready in less than 30 minutes or right around 30 minutes but there you go i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys will make these they're really simple and quick and easy and my kids love them my husband loves them so yeah all right guys thanks for watching till next time